Matilda's star Steph Catley is easily one of the best football players on the planet, and luckily for the Gooners, she has signed a new deal with Arsenal. So sit back, relax, and enjoy your meal as we talk about this contract extension and what it could mean for her future and career in football. Let's get into it. First up, who is Steph Catley? If you're a football fan in 2022 and you don't know about Steph, you should reconsider your priorities. She's a fantastic football player who is in her prime right now and is only getting better with each passing game. The 28-year-old Australian defender joined the historic London club two years ago, and she's consistently impressed fans and pundits with her superb performances. In February this year, she won her 100th cap for the Australian women's soccer team and is a crucial part of their setup. Ever since she made the move from OL Reign to Arsenal, in July 2020, she's made 41 appearances for the Gunners and has been one of the major reasons they've done so well in the Women's Super League. They finished this season one point behind league leaders Chelsea, despite winning their last eight games. In November 2021, she scored her first goal for Arsenal with a sensational free kick against HB Cooge in the Champions League. She's a fantastic left back, and you can also often find her running across the flanks to provide support for her team's attack. You're probably wondering what shirt number she wears, right? Number seven. Hey, a defender wearing the number seven, that's criminal, right? Everyone knows that number is sacred and reserved for attackers. You think number seven, you think Raul. You think Cristiano Ronaldo. You think Luis Figo. But a left back wearing that number? How'd that happen? Well, according to Steph, she decided to choose the number seven for herself because of AFL stars Lenny Hayes, who she was a big fan of. Yeah, football fans are going to love that she was inspired by Australian rules football. She added that her first football shirt was David Beckham, also a famous number seven, and her junior team t-shirt was also the same number. It just just sort of became a lucky number for her. Of course, football purists do not like this. She constantly gets tweets and comments from fans asking why she wears that number, considering she doesn't play in an offensive position. As for us, who cares that she's a defender? She's a brilliant footballer and it's absolutely worthy of wearing the iconic number seven. More power to you, Steph. Let's get into Steph's contract extension. Arsenal's official website broke the news of the footballer's contract extension with the club, but no details of the length of the deal were released. Steph told the website that she feels absolutely incredible, as she should. She also said that she's made some great friendships at this club and feels right at home here. She added that she's had both great and bad times, and that she feels like she's maturing as a person and a player. She's very happy she can call Arsenal her home for the next few years. Understandably, Arsenal's head coach manager, Yo Jonas Edevald was very happy about this new deal as well and described it as fantastic news. He called her one of the best players in the world in her position and said that she's played an integral role for Arsenal this season. He further praised her by saying that she's made big contributions in both defense and attack, and he's very pleased that she'll be staying with them for the coming years. Claire Wheatley, the head of women's football, added to this sentiment and stated that they are delighted that Steph has agreed to a new contract with Arsenal. She also said that Steph in the prime of her career and has proven herself to be a key player for the club. And of course, they're all so happy about keeping Steph in London. You don't ever want to let a player of Steph's caliber go, especially not when she's in the form of her life. Arsenal fans are over the moon. Fans have been waiting for this announcement for a while now and were understandably joyous when this new deal was finalized. One fan tweeted that they are ecstatic about her staying at Arsenal and that they hope she continues to grow as a player over the next few years. Another tweeted that this was the best birthday news they had ever gotten and that they couldn't wait to see Steph back in action next season. Many more fans thanked her on Twitter and Instagram for continuing to represent the Reds. It really seems like Steph's just warming up and she's going to set England on fire in the next few years. She's a real asset for the Arsenal women's team, and we're sure they'll do some amazing things together in the future. And that's all about Steph Catley signing a new deal with Arsenal. Let's now move on to some more Arsenal-related news. Viviane Miedema to sign one-year extension with Arsenal women. Viviane Miedema is one of those football players who make breaking records look like a piece of cake. She's the Women's Super League's highest goal scorer of all time and 
earlier this year, she became the first player to register 100 goal involvements in the league. And did you know that she achieved this milestone in just 83 games? What a talent. The Dutch footballer is arguably the best striker in the world right now, and recently her undecided future has been one of the most discussed topics in world football. There's been speculation that the 25-year-old would leave Arsenal in search of a Champions League trophy, and her most likely destination is considered to be FC Barcelona. But the Athletic UK has provided Arsenal fans with some much-needed relief, reporting that Viviane is close to signing a one-year extension with the North London club. This is great news for the Gunners and is also a pretty interesting move for Viv. With the wealth of talent at Arsenal's roster, it wouldn't be far-fetched to assume that they could emerge as very real contenders for the Champions League trophy next season. And if they can pull that off, who knows what'll happen? Maybe Viv will sign another extension. Arsenal's woman team looking to improve their pace and physicality. Arsenal's women finished second in the Women's Super League, but their performance in the Champions League was less than satisfactory. They got knocked out by Wolfsburg in the quarterfinals this season, and they're looking to improve via a somewhat unconventional method. Manager Jonas Eideval recently revealed that Arsenal's woman team will face the boys' under-16s team to better prepare them for the Champions League. Jonas told The Athletic that facing the boys' team will be extremely beneficial, since they'll play against something more physical and faster than anything they'll have to play against in the Champions League. He called this an astonishing opportunity that most football teams would love to have and that making the training harder than the games will ensure that they'll be successful in the Champions League next season. And we have to admit, that sounds like a great idea. If things go according to plan, Arsenal could become European champions soon. Don't forget that Arsenal are still the only British team to ever win the Women's Champions League. And if the stars align, they might just pull it off again. Arsenal's men team linked with Darwin Nunes. It's no news to anyone that Arsenal are looking for a decent center forward. And of course, almost every transfer rumor centers around which striker could arrive at the club during the upcoming summer window. Both Lacazette and Enkedia are out of contract this June, and Arsenal have been looking for options to replace the two players. So far, Gabriel Jesus and Tammy Abraham have been linked to the club, but now a new name has emerged. Benefica's Darwin Nunes has been having a terrific season and has taken the Premier Liga by storm. And he's not just been impressive in domestic competition either. The 22-year-old Uruguayan footballer has scored goals against the likes of Liverpool, Barcelona, and Bayern Munich in the Champions League. It seems like if Arsenal really do want to sign Darwin, they'll have to break their transfer record for the fourth time in less than a decade. Expert Fabrizio Romano revealed that Darwin Nunes is set to leave Benfica this summer, but £75 million will not be enough. That means that Arsenal may have to activate the £150 million release clause that is reported written into Darwin's contract at Benfica. To contextualize this, Arsenal's current transfer record is the £72 million fee they had to pay for Nicolas Pepe in the summer of 2019, just four months before Mikel Arteta was announced as their coach. It remains to be seen whether Arsenal are willing to spend this much cash on a young star, but if they do, this will be an unprecedented and extremely ambitious move by the Gunners. Let's see what happens. That's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on on Steph Catley signing a new deal with Arsenal? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.